Hi everybody, you've probably seen that I've started to do some Rust gameplay on my YouTube channel and you're probably wondering, wait a minute, has Rob now suddenly got a high-end gaming PC where he can play a uh, big open world survival sandbox type game? Well the answer is no, I haven't. I've still got my Xbox One S and my original PlayStation 4 and my, so I think it must be seven years old, my, my old laptop that I do all the PC stuff on, which obviously can't play high-end PC games. In fact, it can't really play any games at all. Um, it kind of struggles with um, Solitaire. So, if you want to play Rust on an old PC or an old laptop, what you've got to do is you've got to download GeForce Now. Now, GeForce Now is this, well, I think it's a really cool service from NVIDIA, where you pay them some money every month, or actually, you know, you can, there's a free version as well. And it allows you to play the games that you own through Steam and some Epic Store games and some Ubisoft games as well. It allows you to play them uh, on like a rented PC. So I'm in the UK, so somewhere in Western Europe, probably Germany or France, there's a, there's a big warehouse full of racks and racks of servers. And when I fire up GeForce Now and I want to play one of my games, my laptop doesn't play it. One of these remote computers fires up with, for example, Daisy or Rust, um, and then it streams that over the internet to me, and I can play it on my crappy old uh, laptop. So my laptop's kind of just acting a bit like just a monitor, really. That's all it's really doing. And it, I found that even, again, we have a pretty poor internet connection uh, where I live. Um, it works really well, especially for games like Daisy or Rust or anything that isn't a competitive multiplayer shooter. Really, sometimes you find if you're playing PUBG, you know the, the lag's going to be going to be not, not not quite right. And the beauty with the GeForce now is, if the service goes away, you'll still own your games in Steam. So if you get a gaming PC in the future, or Steam comes out with their own streaming solution, because that's what this is, then. Uh, then uh, you know you've still got you still own your games. Whereas with something like Google Stadia or anything that's specific to a specific developer, if they go actually this isn't working, it hasn't worked, we're not going to do it anymore. Your games kind of disappear, especially with Google Stadia. So at the moment though, if you do a search for join GeForce now, there's only a free option available. The founders option, which I'm a uh, part of, which is actually five pounds a month in the UK, and they're starting to charge for that next um, in June, I think. And um, they say, no, we haven't got enough capacity yet. We're going to add some more capacity. So by all means, click on Notify Me, give them your email address. But you can join for free, and basically that gives you an hour's worth of play. And then what, and what you do is you download the GeForce Now app, and you hit, you know, you f Rust, you find, you, obviously you go to you go to Steam, and you buy Rust, you know, so you start a Steam account, and, and you buy it there. Then all you do is you go over to here, and then uh, type in Rust, It'll pop up, and then you can uh, simply play it. So uh, by clicking that, what's happening now is that that computer in Germany or France, or it might even be in the UK, they might have some server farms in the UK now, it's, it's firing up. Um, it's not specifically mine. You know, I don't get the same one every time. I found that if you, if you do a couple of play sessions quickly behind each other, then sometimes... Um, it may be the same computer because what it does is it, they have a really fast broadband um, uh, internet connection. It actually downloads and installs the game, installs Rust, and then you fire it up and it downloads all your settings and all your saves from, from, from Steam, from the cloud, so you can carry on where you were from the last one. Now, this might not look that great because, again, I'm just recording this on OBS, and sometimes it can get a little bit confused when we do all this sort of stuff. So as you can see, it's launch, launching Rust. And uh, it's going to fire up in a sec. And yeah, even with our spotty connection, it's not that good. Now, where it probably won't be that good, and I haven't tested yet, but from my experience with Daisy, this is often the case, is if there are lots, of, if you go onto a heavily modded server, because I'm not quite sure how the mods work on on Rust, but if they work on the same way as they do on DayZ, you have to have the mods installed, not only on the server that you're joining, but also on your local PC. And that means that before GeForce Now can, can fire up Rust, um, so all we would know is we would just, just hit play, 
and then we would go back to the last server I was on and then I would start playing and it's it's that easy um, but yeah if it's a heavily modded server you then got to wait for it to install the mods and if there's really big mods like on Daisy there's some renders mods that can take a while to do so it's not always that but but there we go that is how you play Rust on an old PC or an old laptop you do it through um, G Force Now which I think you know is a uh, is a little bit of a little bit of a bargain so let's come out of that let's go back to that there we go anyway that's enough for me thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon